two, one, go. Okay, this example is how to do some simple drilling and counter boring on the mill power uh, based on the blueprint you saw on the screen. Uh, there's several small hole patterns. I'm just going to select eight of the holes uh, to give a, a good idea of how this can be done. Uh, it is a piece of aluminum. Uh, the X and Y zero point will be in the upper left corner. Uh, the hole diameter is 126 and the counter bore is 0.285 in diameter. So I will select a 1 8 center cutting end mill to do both tasks. One, drilling the hole and two, uh, circular interpolate the counter bore. So what we'll do is go to program screen, select the tool, and set the diameter at 0.125, press use. I'll select holes and do a frame of holes, which means at least four holes um, in, in four separate corners. Given the blueprint dimension, uh, first corner I'll set up at x1.644, y negative 1.329. I'm not going to program the size of the pattern, instead I'll program the second corner since it's given on the blueprint. Z information, start at 0.1, end at negative 300 thousandths, give 6 pecs at 12 inches per minute. Number of holes for X is 2 and Y is 2. Uh, the second corner then on the print is X2.038, Y negative 1.92. At that point it figures out its own hole spacing save that block and the four hole pattern really comes up on the screen. Since uh, the second hole pattern is identical and it's further down the part, what I'll do is use the repeat function and repeat these four holes but at a different location. More step repeat. I'm going to repeat uh, block two or event number two with an X offset and here I'll do the math. Five seven minus 1.644, that's the offset in X, no offset in Y or Z, give me one more pattern. So that repeats that. So there's the eight holes. And now uh, if I want to come back and do counter boring on each hole individually, um, I would select at this point the circle and use the frame function for doing the counter boring. Since there's already a through hole, we don't need to finish the bottom, just the sides. So the circle frame, uh, the first hole is at X1644 and Y minus 1.329, which is already on the screen. The Z information beginning at point 0.1 and ending at negative point 0.1, uh, two passes. The radius, uh, the diner is 0.285, so the radius would be divided by two. And if we want to finish pass, uh, actually we want to do a left offset. 12 inches per minute for the finish stop, five thousandths, and finish feed rate. So we have the first counter board. For the remainder of the counter boards, I will have to use the repeat function and just repeat this circle at different locations. So with that, I can program repeat step four with an X offset and then just do the math. 2.038 minus. 0.644. That's the offset, giving me one more circle. And I can repeat it here as well. So I can repeat uh, the original block four. This time the offset is 3.357 minus 1.644. One. And then finally I'll do the last one here and then you can just step your way back this way. Uh, the math 3.751 minus 1.644. One more. Oh. Mistake. That was the Z offset. I want zero Z offset with one more hole. So that's how we would accomplish this on real power. This example is how to do a simple hole pattern on the 3500i, uh, both drilling and counter boring. Uh, based on the drawing that was shown on the screen, our 
where our X0, Y0 is on the left end of the part and the top, so top left corner. Uh, aluminum piece uh, required 1 8 drill through and 285 diameter counter counterbore. I'll select a 1 8 center cutting end mill so I can both drill the holes and do the circular interpolation of the counterbore with the same tool. We'll go to program management, create new program, uh, conversational program. Just give it a, a name of some sort. Press OK and go into the edit mode. Again, uh, a template has been created and pre-programmed. Uh, I'll set up the block form, which uh, sets up our solid model graphics for the size of the part overall. Um, zero is the top of the part, so X minimum is zero to the left end. <coughs> and the Y minimum is minus six inches in the minus direction and one inch thick again. This time I'm going to set up uh, tool two, which I've got programmed as a one eighth end mill. Skip the fixture offset and go down to a, an empty part of the template and go ahead and add in a drill cycle. So we'll select a peck drilling cycle with a total depth of minus 0.3. Starting height of 0.1, and a pecking distance of 0 0.05. More drilling parameters, uh, I can set the return height and feed rate as well. Press use, and that goes into the program as a conversational block, in this case, block number 12. So now I can select a square pattern of holes since these four holes are uh, constitute a small pattern, so two identical patterns that are separated. So under drill cycles, we have a square pattern and round pattern of holes, so I'll select the square pattern. And for the number of holes along the x-axis, in this case is two, and also for y, we can select a, an array of holes or a square pattern, either one works in this case. I can program the length of the pattern or the increment. So in this case, I'm going to program the increment, so I'll skip that. Uh, define the first hole location has 1.644 and x and y negative 1.329. Uh, there's no angle in this case, rotating angle, but the x increment, uh, the math required here is x 2.038 minus 1.644. So 0.394 is the increment for x and the increment for y again will require this math to be 1.920 minus 1.329. So we'll clear that and go 1.92 minus 1.329 and the y increment is in the negative direction of 591. Once we press use, uh, that pattern is completed. Um, I'm required to do the drill off function before moving off to do a pocket or some other function. Uh, in our case here, I want to drill four more holes, so what I can do is just edit the start point. I can copy these three blocks by going to edit features, mark the three blocks, copy them, and paste them again right into the program. So we have three blocks here and three more identical. And then what I can do is just uh, adjust the start location of the second pattern. 3.357 and negative 1.329. So at this point I can take a look at graphics if we like just go to draw mode and we see the two separate patterns there. As for the counterbore, um, you can go right from draw back into edit and start um, programming the counterbore. I want to turn my screen onto a full full view screen. Full screen view, sorry. And then um, I just get to look at more blocks at one time. So I'm going to go back to our cycles and I'll pick out the circular profile since we don't have to finish the bottom of the pocket. Uh, what we're doing here is a counterboard. 
So I'm going to give it the counterbore diameter on the blueprint, 0.285, starting height 0.1, Z depth minus 0.1, uh, ramping distance 20 thousandths, 25 thousandths. And if I want to put a finish stock on, I'm going to skip the center point, and there's a reason for that. Full depth of cut, same return height. Z feed, I can go fast because there's already a through hole. Um, roughing feed rate, finish feed rate, and finish stock amount. So at this point, uh, we programmed a circular profile directly above the last hole. What I can then do is make a, a move, rapid move back to the first hole. So our last hole is actually accomplished by now. So back to the first hole, which is X1.644 and Y negative 1.329. Press use and what I want to do is copy block 18 and paste it in so I'll get the second counter board. Copy, paste. At this point, I can paste in the remaining six holes just by hitting paste, 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 paste. And what I can do then is just program the hole location in between. So in this case, it would be a rapid move to the next hole, which is x2.038, y negative 1.329. Block 22 will execute that counter board. Next hole, rapid move, 3.357, y negative 1.329. Next hole, rapid move, 3.751, and so on and so forth. What I'll do is uh, go back to graphics, delete those last few blocks. So now you have an idea of how this can be done. And go back to graphics and show what we have so far. So you can see the, um, the counter boards that were achieved here. That's how this is accomplished on the Accurite 3500i.